Hello and welcome to this introductory video to reporting in the Lightspeed L-Series software. Today we're going to take a closer look on what these reports consist of and how we can change certain settings and configuration for them. When you log into your restaurant manager or back office, there's two places you will need to be. First of all, we can check out the settings and go to report settings. As you can see, you have a whole lot of options here to determine what will show up on your reporting and what won't show up on your reporting. You can always play around with all these settings because if you do changes here, they will also be visible on old reports. So feel free to turn on and off some options, extract a report from a past date, and you will see that the different settings will be applied. You have all the room to play around with these and build your perfect report. Now we're going to take a look at the reports themselves. The first um, reporting tab we see is receipts. Here you will get an overview in a date range you select, like I'm doing right now, of all the receipts that were generated in your system. You find some information based on different filters. If you click them, you can also filter your overview of the receipts differently. Next to all this information, you can also view it externally for a specified receipt. And here you can extract a PDF with basic information or way more detailed information about every single receipt onto your computer. And we have some um, handy diagrams to, to give you a more general overview. Next to the receipts, we also have labor reports. In my system, this is blank. This is because my users on my system are not forced to clock in. If you are going to work with a clock in and clock out system, all the work times of your different employees will show up here. Again, you have um, the option to extract it as a PDF in a more summary overview or a detailed overview. Here, you can also extract CSV files to go use these, these um, data in software or tools you use yourself for more um, advanced reporting. This is again the datum selector. Also, if you need to apply changes to the clock in or clock out times of your employees, you can always do it here. Then we have the hour, day, week, and month reports. These uh, give you a more detailed view of the time range they express. You again can select the date range and go to extract them. Your day, week, month reports, for example, you can also extract these as Excel files and use them in, uh, in the Excel program. Then we're seeing the closing reports. You have the option to uh, generate a closing report from the POS or from users. To be able to do that, we need to go to settings, report settings, and you need to make sure this option is available. It's the closing reports X and Z. Be sure to read the information here and experiment with it once when the shift has ended to find more detailed closure information. When we go back to the reports, we also have a product reports. Here you're going to see a top 10 of your most, product, most popular products. Another diagram here to represent your products as well. And here you find individual information for your um, products. Order the amount, current stock. As always, there's different filters you can, you can um, order your overview on. And here you have a date picker again to get more insights in a specif specific period. Then we have category reports. Same idea as product reports. It shows you the most popular categories. Um, the thing here is it will, uh, the categories are more of a bigger group than the products. So it's a more general overview. You can again extract it and select another date range. For user reports, again, this is when your personnel at the end of their shift will um, do, do uh, extract a report on the POS system. It will also show up here if they generated one. And you find some more information about how long they worked, how much customers they helped, how much receipts they created. Uh, it's a detailed overview of all your stuff. Then we have revenue reports. You get a visual representation of uh, the categories that generated revenue. 
Here you see the total, you see how much was generated for every receipt and so on. Again, a datum picker in the top right corner. If you work with ingredients on your products, you will find a detailed overview here. For shift reports, if you want a more detailed overview, for example, a lunch shift and a dinner shift, you can always go to settings, report settings, and in the bottom, you will find shift settings. Here, you can add shifts, and then it's going to be able in the shift reporting, it's going to track the data for every shift you configured here. If you go back to reports, we also have summary reports. You will spend some time here, I'm sure of it, because here you can actually get a detailed report of a certain period of time you determine yourself. You can do this through the date picker, but also you can click the last week, last month, or last year. Small disclaimer, you can only go back for one year. So a summary report will only consist of a whole period of one year max. Advanced reports is something extra on top of your Lightspeed L-Series software. It's going to allow you to do more um, advanced or complex reporting, give you more insights in, into your operation. If you're interested in this or you need this, feel free to contact sales with this button. If you want some more information, you can always click this button in your back office. Last but not least, here you can select the date range again to export some data. If your business has multiple locations, you will also be able to select a location here. And then you can download CSV files from receipts, receipt items, payments, products, categories, modifiers, users, and taxes. This way, you can start using this data again in your own tools or software to have a better insights in your data. I hope this information was clear to all of you. If you have further questions, feel free to check our help center or other videos. If you still have questions, then don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. We're here to help you.